He's helping to make the mining industry cooler with his new technologies. He's joining me here on the sidelines of the PDAC. Alan Smithson is the founder of Metaverse, which I just found out basically means the universe of virtual reality. I'm, I am so not cool. Alan, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's wonderful to be here. So, and Yeah. You're a disruptive force to the, to the mining sector. Apparently we are. So You're like the Uber to mining. I don't know if we're the Uber to mining, but yeah. we're definitely uh, helping people to visualize their data in better ways and giving them tools that they never had before. So the way I, I you know, explain virtual reality to people is that we had the radio and that revolutionized human communication. Then we had TV, internet, mobile phones, and now we have virtual and augmented reality. And you have really some big clients, so Adidas, Microsoft, Samsung, to name a few. So what made you think, hey, you know what, my technology could be applied to mining? So uh, last year we came to PDAC with uh, Atlas Copco. We built an app for them, a three-dimensional app, so you could visualize their, uh, their mining uh, drill. And we came here and I looked around and I said, man, nobody is doing virtual reality. And, and originally we were supposed to do a virtual reality uh, exhibit with Atlas Copco. And this year they have it, which is awesome. They didn't do it with us, but it's, yeah. it's fantastic to see the industry that I saw it. And I was like, this is something that can really help these people. And now it's here. And I had a chance to stop by your booth and try out some of this technology. Yeah. But for the folks at home, tell us a little bit about you know, what it is and, and how it's applied to mining. Certainly. So we have kind of three pillars that we've been discussing uh, this week at uh, PDAC. We've talked about data visualization as a big thing. So how can we geoscientists look at this data in different ways, in three dimensions, and sit in a mine site and look at the data all around you? And the other thing is then taking that data and transferring it to investors. So how do we show investors or bring investors to a mine site without flying them out there? So virtual tours. Right, so I wear, so I wear this, is this the one you're holding? So right? we have a couple different kinds right. here. And then the last pillar is industrial safety and training and being able to put people into training scenarios without having to put them underground. So uh, when you have really expensive uh, equipment that you need to train somebody on, you either have to fly them out or bring the equipment to them. It's very costly. Whereas you could have one VR headset that maybe trains a, a, a crane simulator one day. That same setup can be... Uh, you, do you think you'll get the same type of education? I think it's way better because you're actually doing it. Instead of watching on a 2D screen, you could be checking your phone, you could be just messing around, click, you know, I click all the yes answers, A, B, C, D, okay, great. This, you actually experience it and you get to do it and you get to experience what it is. And one of our friends uh, did a crane training recently and within 60 minutes of never being on a crane, trained in virtual reality, and now, and they took him from there directly out and he drove a crane and operated a crane. So, if I, when I was wearing this, I actually felt like I was in the mine. Yeah. Do you think one day I'll be able to touch and feel? Absolutely, you'll be able to, the next, the, the next step will be, okay, we're in the mine site, here's the data that we want you to see, that, the, that we want you to explain what's relevant to you, whether you're an investor or a geoscientist, you're in training. So giving people spatial awareness is really important. Uh, Lucara Mines, uh, the Diamond Mines, they've been handing these out all week, which is great. It's, a, it's, yes. it's validation that our industry is growing as well. Do you think that the industry is embracing the technology? You know, it's not the most modern of industries. Uh, what has the reception been? So, so far, everybody we've talked to, uh, it's, it's like all other industries. You show people what's possible. You say, Here, you know, here's a bit, couple of examples. Yeah. What do you think? How do you think this applies yeah. to your industry? And everybody has some way that they can apply this to the Alan industry. Smithson, the ultimate disruptor. Thank you for joining us on the sidelines of the PDC. And thanks, thanks so for much. watching. We'll have more for you on Kitco.com. Thanks, Alan. Hi, folks.